Hey, good evening. How are you? Good evening, sir. Um, I don't know. Maybe I I feel stressing because <laughs> I, have, I have a, a hardest day. A hard day? Why? What happened? Uh, you know, I, I work in on call center, but I know an agent. You know, I work in from IT department, so I preparing a lot of computers for uh, the new accounts. Okay. And what is the call center you work for? It's Telus International. Okay. And not tell us, yeah. So, a lot of new accounts, huh? Yeah. We have a lot of new accounts. Okay. Good. Well, let's, I think we have some people here, but we'll get started in just a moment. Um, first, I want to make sure everybody's in the right group. You should be, this is pre-advanced one. So this is module pre-advanced one that you should be registered. Also uh, remember that our group pre-advanced one also has in, also has a WhatsApp group, okay? If you were in the old group, you need to leave the old group and join this one. If this is your first time, uh, and it, how can you find the link? It's in the email that they sent you, okay? And so when you go to the pre-advanced group, okay, you, in your email, it gives all the information, the platform, the access, and it gives you the information for the WhatsApp group also. Hmm. All right, so I'll get started. My name is Edwin Kubias and I will be your teacher this module. Um, it's great to, to get to know you and to see so many people participating. It's, it's good that people try to take advantage of learning English. Um, our classes are Monday through Thursday from nine o'clock to 10 o'clock p.m., okay? Uh, and of course, we're gonna be taking a look at the platform and the activities in a little bit, okay? Right now, what we're gonna do is we are going to first find out if this is the first time for anybody. Is this the first time that uh, anybody has used the platform or has everybody used the platform before? Hello. Hello, Elizabeth. How are you? Good, and you? Is this the first time you use the platform? Yeah, this is the first time. Okay. Okay, also the Mary the Carmen, okay. All right, perfect. Then let me go over a couple of things because if it's new, then there are a couple of things that maybe you don't know how to use. Um, we normally make small groups in the class and this is to give you the opportunity to practice your speaking and your listening and participation. In order to make the small groups, uh, you are going to receive an invitation inside Zoom. So in this moment, you, we have a Zoom, and then when we are going to make a small group, you will receive another invitation, and, and it's going to say, uh, join a small group or join a, a little room. If you accept it, then you can go into a smaller group where you only have two or three partners in order to participate with, because it's easier to speak with two or three people than to try to speak with the 15, 20, or 30 people that are in the class, okay? How do you join that? You don't have to create it. You don't have to do anything. I send an invitation. Only you need to do is accept. And the invitation is here in Zoom. So you don't need to go out. If you are using your cell phone, only you accept on the cell phone. If you are using the computer, only you accept on the computer. Okay, that's the first part. The second part is that in the idea is the platform is where we're going to be working on and getting to know everything. And I know some of you have many questions about it, but don't worry, we're gonna to get to those in just a few moments. What we're going to do first is we're gonna to get to know each other because some people uh, were together in the last course, some people, this is a new course. And in some cases, they switch schedules. Some people were eight to nine, 
now they go 9 to 10, okay? And so there are many new faces. So we're going to make small groups first to make sure that everybody understands. And we're going to get to know each other. You're going to talk about yourself, what you like, what you don't like, how did you begin studying English, okay? That's fine, Beto. No problem, Beto. Okay. And we're going to see um, what kind of, where do you work or what do you study or things like this. So in this moment, don't worry about the grammar. Don't worry about the... The activities, this is not for a grade, it's only to help you with your fluency, only to help you with interacting with other people, okay? It's, you're not going to be evaluated and say, I know, you made a mistake, one point less. No, 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 no. It's only for us to begin having a relationship because we're going to have four weeks together with our partners. And in the four weeks, we want to make sure that everybody gets to know each other and we can participate and speak with everybody. Okay. All right. Did everybody receive an invitation? Yes. 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 Okay. Remember, accept the invitation and then go to the other group. And only about interacting, talking about you, your likes, your dislikes, only talking about the different things. That's what we're going to do. Okay. Okay. Any questions? Are you having some problems? Kevin, do you have any questions? Do you have problems going to the groups? Okay, Kevin, if you have any questions, then just write to me in the chat or raise your hand and I'll come back. No worry. Very softly, Veronica, almost, I don't hear you, almost. Only I hear the, hello, do you hear me? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Edwin, Omi, can you, can you hear Veronica? Uh, no, no. Um, no, Veronica she, is very low, low, low your voice. A little bit. It's the same, Veronica. I don't, I can hear you. Okay. And that moment right now, and, and I like to, uh, I like to do exercise and I like to, uh, walk walk uh, out and like uh, the forest mountain it is a it's a hobby for me and i i have two children and i marry and uh, 
I am learning English too. <laughs> uh, what about you, Arturo? Well, uh, I am um, I am from Santana, and I work for Tigo, and this is my fourth month with with this with these classes, and I really trying to learn a lot. <laughs> Um, I really in in my in my days I usually I usually do um, try to do exercise and, and maybe um, cook the dinner with my family and this is in, in on the week in that days of the week right because in the morning and uh you do right if yeah, they buy but, you pay yeah but we pay for example all uh suppliers like publicity or maybe for example the leasing uh, when the the tigo has the towers so that kind of suppliers okay. is the younger <laughs> yes it's the younger <laughs> all of us are young the age uh, is just a number i think and <laughs> and you yada i am um, work in um Arte Gráficas Publicitaria is a printer. Um, I am a graphic designer. Oh, do you draw and paint? And do you use tools? This, um, I don't remember this. And always we, we 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 feel tighter. <laughs> you feel tired all the days. Yeah. Okay. What do you work? Um. Actually, I work in Tigo. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. You work with people too. We have a common denominator here. Okay. <laughs> so Camila work with uh, with uh, work at the university. I am a teacher too, and also we work with people and. Work with people is hard, but it's so interesting all the days. Okay, okay, it's it's good. It's good. Uh, it's good. Uh, know that because uh, always, always um, in this group, I I imagine um, we are a lot of a lot of uh, co-workers that of Tigo, but I don't know. Um, mm. Um, why I, I want to say <clears throat> I think you are uh, talking about uh, um, I, I am the accountant and um, I live in Santa Tecla okay. and uh, and that's it I mean <laughs> There's, there's no much. <laughs> okay. And, and you, guys? Uh, I'm a civil engineering and I'm working at a consultoria. I don't know how to say in English. Oh, yes, in general. Yeah. And yeah, I am too. Yeah, and yeah. I think that there are a, a lot of people in the, in the construction area that needs uh, to speak with someone who knows English. And yeah. that's very important for me to speak because I need to communicate with them. Yeah. So I have to read a lot of information that is in English. And also I need to... Ahorita, justo dos minutos antes de meterme a la meeting, me metí, creé el, la sesión o no sé qué. Ajá. Uh, because I don't have the second video. I just have the first video. Hello? 
Hello. Elena? Hello. I'm here. Ah. Do you have the two videos of relative pronouns? Um, let me see. Just this one. I just have one video, the first one. I don't listen in teacher. Sorry, can you see my screen? Yes. Yes? yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. So, let me explain a little bit about the course, um, how it works, and what is the purpose. Okay. So, the course has four weeks. In those four weeks, we have to do several sections. Here, you can see that we have five sections. This means that we do a little more than one section per week, okay? So in section one, we have to, we click on it and we can see we have many different activities, okay? There's usually 12 or 13 for each section. The same for section two, okay? The difference is that at the end of section two, or uh, there's, this one is only 10, okay? And then section three has a midterm. So when we finish section three, at the end of the activities, also there is an exam. Now, don't worry about getting all of them done or in this moment thinking about all of the activities. We go one by one. So each week we, are, we try to advance and we'll go and we'll make sure that everything is clear. How do you know what your grade is or your progress in the top? You, you have course, discussion, progress. So you click on progress and it's going to tell you the grades and the activities you need to do. So here we can see that for unit one, okay, that's what friends are for, the title of the unit, we have several activities. Some activities are 15 points, some activities are 10 points, and other activities are 25 points. Okay, so based on those points, that's what you have to do. You have to try to get uh, average of 80. 80 is the minimum that you need to get. Okay, so that means you have to have uh, in the total, you need to have a score of 80 in order to pass and to receive your diploma. If you have less than 80, then you should do the activity again. You can also see your grades here in a graph. They can tell you for activity one, homework two, and three. You can see all of this. Anytime you want, you can see your grades. Okay. Here we go. These are the two buttons that you use the most is course and progress. Okay. In this moment, any questions about the where to see your grades? Any question, teacher? Okay, okay, so no questions. Okay, now, when we have here in the idea for the course, the best way to use the course is that remember, the course is where they get your grades, it's not from the class. So you need to work in the platform. In the platform is how you are evaluated. The the diploma, the activities, everything is from the platform. So imagine that Gladys says, ah, today I have time. Today I want to advance a little bit. Okay, so Gladys, in this moment or after the class, Gladys can finish, Gladys can advance. If, she, if Gladys wants to do 1.0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, it's okay. 
is not a limit. If you want to advance more, it's better. It's better to advance more than the class. The reason is because in the class, the idea is to practice what you learn, to practice what is the topics. For example, in this part, the topic is relative pronouns. So if you don't know relative pronouns, it's good to have an idea before the class, okay? That we can see what they are, okay? If you have an idea what relative pronouns, great, because then in class you can practice speaking and using them. But even if you don't have time, don't worry. In class, I will help you to make sure that we advance with the platform. The important is that the idea for the knowledge checks. These are obligations. When you see this symbol, is obligation to complete. The others, for example, lesson objective is only to give you the information. What is the activity or what we're going to learn? Here are the videos to help you understand, but these are the ones that are the exercises or your grades. And for that, you have to click and you have to complete. Here, you're going to see graded. Okay, you're going to see how many points and it's obligation to complete those with 80 or more for your grades. Any questions about the platform? Not teacher. No, no question. No, not teacher. Okay, great. So I have a question. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Um, I was doing the the relative pronouns exercise. Mm -hmm. And the, for example, the question two. I answer it. But um, it said that it's wrong, the, the answer. And I don't, I, I don't see the mistake, where, where the, the, the mistake is. Is this it, Elizabeth? Is this the question that you were doing, number two here? Um, number two, relative pronouns. Let's take a look. Okay. In which relative pronouns? Because 1.1 is the video. So what was the exercise that you were doing? Relative pronouns is, is the, it's the second part of the, of the um, knowledge uh, check. Okay. Here's the knowledge check, 1.4. Okay, this part down here, correct? Yes, exactly. Okay. The, the question I was I answered the question too, and and I don't see the mistake. And and, and um, don't let me go on with that. Okay, very good. It's good that you mentioned that, Elizabeth, because many times, uh, sometimes the. the problem is that you need to make sure that you write in the small details. The details are, for example, a period, the correct apostrophe, the correct uh, spacing. Sometimes you put two spaces when it's one space is very common. Sometimes you use tilde instead of apostrophe because it looks oh, the yeah. same. Uh -huh. or, oh. or sometimes also we have had situations where everything is correct, but in the end, the person forgot to put a period. Oh, I see. Oh, mm -hmm. let, me, let me see. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the that, that was it. That was the mistake. Yeah. What's the period? <laughs> Don't worry, Elizabeth. You see, that's why you, it happens. Believe me, everybody, it happened. That I don't see the mistake. I don't see the mistake. And then, hey, in the in the period, what happened? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, right. yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's good. But it's good the first day that you understand because in reality it's common. It's very common the situation because uh, we are used to chatting. We are used to using it in our cell phones or writing and we don't have to worry about putting a period. You don't have to worry about putting the question mark. The exclamation but in writing formal English yes if no period it's incorrect if no capital letter it's incorrect if two spaces it's incorrect and the platform is going to put as incorrect okay, I get okay. It. all right great
I'm glad we can solve the problem easily. Anybody else have any questions or comments? No question, teacher. Okay, great. So that means that now we're going to begin with our platform and doing the exercises, okay? So as you can see, uh, Today's topic is relative pronouns. Excellent, Elizabeth has already begun. Um, can anybody, um, can Elizabeth, can you help the class understand what is this? What is this idea of relative pronouns? What does it mean? Um, it's like, a, I don't know, how, uh, like a substitution of the, or oh, another way to say something? Okay, like another it's way. To, uh -huh. Me. Yes, please. It's used to connect a clauses or phrases to a noun or pronoun. For example, who, whom, whose, which, that, where, when. And you can use it uh, relative pronouns for subject and object too. Okay, very good. So we can use it for subject, we can use it for object. We have the idea that they're used to connect two things, okay? Now, many times, it's we have two different types, but the idea of relative pronouns is to help us to get a better understanding of what we're talking about. So we use it specifically to add additional information, to get two sentences or two phrases together, and we make them into one. Um, as our partner mentioned, we tend to use the words with WH, who, what, where, and which, these are the normal relative pronouns, okay? So we tend to use all of them in order to make sure that we get them together. We combine them. In this moment, we're gonna watch a small video about how to get them, okay, and how they're used. But this is the main idea. Relative pronouns take two sentences, we combine them and make one sentence. What is the purpose? The idea is to be a little bit better for our writing, for our speaking, to make sure that it's understood what we're talking about. Okay. Any questions at this moment? No. no. Okay, great. So, should be able to see right now. Hello everyone. In this class you learn how to describe the kind of people you like to hang around with. For example, I like friends who aren't too serious. You'll learn how to use the relative pronouns who or that. Now let me get started by presenting the structure. We'll do a few examples and at the end of the class I would like for you to practice by making your own examples. Let me talk about the first example that you see here, relative pronouns as subjects. So in essence, what we want to do in this class is we want to take two pieces of information. For example, I like guys. Okay. So I'm going to explain it because that one, I always think that he takes a long time to explain or doesn't explain with a lot of energy. So <laughs> the idea is like here that we can see the examples. The relative pronouns, we use them to combine the two sentences. I like guys, they are too serious, okay? So you don't have to repeat again the subject. You don't have to repeat again the guys. You don't have to repeat again the person. It, you know, it, only you need to use who or that, okay? Now, normally, it's not an obligation, but normally, who for people and that for things. Okay, but the good thing about that is that you can use that for people and things, but you can only use who for people. You cannot use who for things. If you are confused, always use that, okay? Because that is for both people and things, but who only for people. Now, what's the difference between the relative pronouns as subjects and are as objects, okay? Really, it's just about who we're talking about, okay? 
Are we talking about the guys? Are we talking about uh, the things or what affects us? Yeah. Here we can see a couple examples and we can see that the examples the same way. We both use who or that. Okay, let me go forward a little bit so we can get a better idea. We're either going to use who or that to combine those two pieces of information. So at the end, what the sentence is going to look like is, I like guys who aren't too serious. Or you can say, I like guys that aren't too serious. I'm going to write down those examples to make sure that we're understanding the process. The first example states, I like guys. Okay. So it's pretty much explaining the same thing. I'm just going to go ahead a little bit faster because it's what we're talking about is how to identify and combine them. Okay. So we know that the topic is the guys. And here again, we repeat the pronoun they. So instead of repeating the pronoun, we can just substitute with who or that. And then the rest of the sentence is the same. This function, the who or that, is like a re another pronoun or a replacement for this one, for the one that is in red. Okay? So you don't have to say, I like guys, guys aren't too serious. Only one time you pronounce guys, and then the other is you substitute the they for, an, for this pronoun. It's kind of like when you say, I like Jaime, okay? Jaime isn't too serious. You don't have to say two times Jaime. I like Jaime. He isn't too serious. But in English, we can replace this even more and just say, I like Jaime, who isn't too serious. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Because also, when you need to do it in the platform, here is the way that you do it. If you see this sentence, you need to put a slash, okay, a hyphen, sorry, the, the slash between the two answers. So you're going to write it. In, now, what I want. Answers, you're going to write it in that form. Okay. If it can only have one answer, you only write with one answer, such as that one. Cool. But, okay. This is the idea. The idea is the same for all of them. Okay. Uh, all it is is just taking like when you say I, I love my mom my mom is great my mom uh, loves to cook so what you're doing is just getting these to create one sentence okay here we have the other sent examples I like to meet people they are sociable the they are the people that I meet so to make it easier the same day I can take and I only replace with who I like people who are sociable. This describes the type of people that I like. In this moment, are there... Any questions from anyone? No. No. Okay. All right. Perfect. So... What are we going to do? Okay, right here. Participant will be able to use relative pronouns. So that's what we want to do. We want to use them. We want to make sure that we're getting them and we're understanding them. Okay, so one more time. What were the pronouns? Who or that? Those are the two that we're focusing on. Do are, are there other pronouns? Yes, there are other pronouns. Are we going to use them in this moment? No, we're not going to use them in this moment. But yes, they exist. Okay. What are those other pronouns? Well, they are like the words like where, which, when, anything that can combine two sentences. This is the idea for those relative pronouns. But in this moment, we're just going to practice. So with our partners, we're going to go. Um, if you are in the cell phone, okay, you can still continue practicing uh, 1.4. Okay, if you are on the computer, you can share the screen. If you are on the cell phone, you can share the screen. Just like me, how do I share the screen? I go to the bottom, I, there's a place that says more, and it says compartir pantalla. From there, I only share the screen, and my partner and I can see the same activities. Okay, so 
what are we going to do in our groups? And we are going to complete and use this 1.4, the relative pronouns. Okay. Now, one more time, how do you identify? You identify what you are talking about. So if I'm talking about two, two women, I substitute it for who? If I am talking about cars, I substitute it for that. If I am talking about a person, this is all I have to do is just like if I have a name. If I say, Mari works in the store. Mari uh, is a good person. For Mari, I don't, I identify it and I substitute. Mari works in the store. She is a good person. Okay. And then with relative pronouns is I take the she and I substitute it for who. Mari works in a store, who is a good person, or Mari, who is a good person, works in a store. So it's going to be easier when we practice. Remember, what are you doing with it? What is the function? Is only to join two sentences and to make it into one. So it's not so confusing with so many names. So that way you don't have to repeat and repeat and repeat. Romulo, Romulo, Arturo, 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 Gladys, Gladys. No, only is one time. Okay, Arturo, who, and that's it. And we understand that it's the same person that we're talking about. Any questions before we make our groups? No. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. Okay, let's yeah. try. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi. I, ha mm -hmm. I have a question. I couldn't get into my platform. Um, my user is blocked. I think for many times I tried to get into. So I don't know if you can um, let me get in. No, I can't. I don't have access to your account. Um, and how, hello. how I can do that? Um, I understand that when it is blocked, you have to wait 24 hours for it to become unblocked. Oh, okay. Okay. And I'm going to try tomorrow. Hang on. Are you in the, uh, are you in the WhatsApp group? Yes. Okay. Did you receive it? Yes. No, no. What I, in this moment, what I sent. Yes. Okay. I received it. Okay. Perfect. So, uh, that should be able to help you. So m maybe tomorrow after the 24 hours, you should be able to access your account in that form. Okay. Um, if I really have... did it. Okay. And send me a, an email to activate my account, but it, it says it's blocked for many, tri many times I tried to get into um, the platform. Okay. So probably what has to happen is you're going to have to, you, it's obligation now that you have to wait because of the many times that you tried. But tomorrow, I suggest that you write in the, um, to Jonathan. Jonathan is in the, he's the technical assistant. You can find his number in the list for the WhatsApp. Only click in okay. the, only click in the participants and is the, uh, it should be the first or the second name. And it, mm -hmm. It doesn't say, uh, it's Jason um, and two admins. Let me see. I'm checking in this moment. It says uh, Jonathan Guzman. Um, I don't have the name. What is the, the number? I will tell you. The, the number says it is 7263. One nine two eight. Okay, it's the first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he should be okay. The, uh, the, one of the first ones, or even you can write to. If you cannot contact Jonathan, it's okay. You can write to uh, Jason or Elena, or because they also. But 
Jonathan is usually the one who is responsible for the technical part. Okay, I'm talking to him tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. And even today, you can write him so he already knows. So that way tomorrow when he goes into uh, the office, he already knows uh, the situation. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Sorry, I, I didn't do a little homework in this moment, but I, I want to tell you. Ah, no problem, no problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, you are sending me to the group? Yes, you should already have received an invitation to the group. For um, me too, because nobody joined to the meeting with me. Maybe, <laughs> I don't know what happened. Maybe Mary was your partner. Oh, um, <laughs> and she oh, was okay. here as, uh, yeah, and, uh, and, yeah. <laughs> and she was here trying to solve it. Uh, okay. Uh huh. Okay. But, okay. I send you. Let's try. Let me try one more time. I send you with Gladys. Okay. Okay. Hey, Romulo, what happened with your partner? Romulo, you are mute. I don't hear you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, but uh, uh, no, nobody joined, 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 joined with me. Nobody? Okay. Nobody. Okay. But I tried to... to to do the exercise. No problem. I send you to another group, Romulo. No problem. I don't know what okay. happened with your partner. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Hey, Veronica, and your partner? I don't know. Nobody, nobody entered. I don't know who was. Gladys, Gladys was your partner, but, but she, okay. didn't, she, she didn't, didn't enter. Answer. Okay, no, no problem. No problem. I send you to another group. Okay, Vera? Okay. Okay, I, let's go to another group. Kevin Orlando, any questions? No, no teacher. teacher, no. Okay. <laughs> okay. The fourth yeah. is, I don't like to be with people. I don't, I don't think of table around these people. Comfortable. What teacher? What the, teacher? The pronunciation, comfortable. Com comfortable. Yes, comfortable. The, the, the second O you do not pronunciate. You do not say for, only comf and then table, comfortable. Comfortable. Yes. Comfortable. Um, so oh. that that the the second O between F and R is not pronounced. Okay. Do you guys have any questions? No, teacher. Okay. All right. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. Comfortable. Com yeah, <laughs> good, good job. Well, okay. we did it. <laughs> yeah, we finished it. Yeah. <laughs> T-shirt. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Any questions? No. Um, it's no. very easy. 
that's good. That's the idea that yeah. that you understand <laughs> relative pronouns. Yeah. Okay. Great. So the next topic is going to be the idea for adjectives. Okay. Adjectives are describing people. Um, I'm going to take in, we're going to go back to the groups. Um, we're going to make sure that everybody's okay. And then we're going to start talking about what the people are like. But because you are finished early, only describe a little bit about how do people describe you? What do the people say about you? Do they say you are nice? Are you mean, angry? What What do you think people say about you? Okay? Okay. Perfect. Okay. Good. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> Elena, Camila, any questions? Hey, um, no, yes, maybe. Um, <clears throat> mm, um, nothing at all, but. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Okay. And you are completing the exercise? Yes. Excellent. I, I am summing, so that means. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. People, the that what that have nothing in common with this person. No. Maybe we can like, put who people who. Uh, I don't like with. I don't like to be with people. people. Who have nothing in common. Who I have nothing. But what right over here we have to eliminate something. I don't like to be with people. We submit. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. In the last and in the last <clears throat> questions, they are two more sentences. The, the number seven? No, no. about, I guess. Okay, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. in, instruction. And the second one, I don't like to be with people. And the second sentence says, I uh, have nothing in common with this person. Mm -hmm. So the relative pronouns is who, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because we are talking about persons. So maybe the regretting is, I don't like to be with people who have not, nothing in common with this person. What do you think, Elizabeth? Is that correct? Or we have to change it? What do you do? Yeah, you have to change. It's, uh. Pay attention in the second part. Okay. You are saying, I have nothing in common with this person. So when you say, uh, when, when you say, I don't like to be with people who I have nothing in common with, period. Mm. Okay. That's the part that I was explaining that it changed the the, the, the the final of the sentence, the end of the sentence. You're right. Because we we didn't need saying again a person because we are talking about people and who is that person the pronoun to mm -hmm. substitute the persons. You're right. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, we have a new student, huh? Mm. 
Okay. I see some groups were very fast and they finish quickly and other groups have a little bit more difficulty. Um, I think that the problem for the part one, nobody had a problem with part one, but some groups had a problem with part two, that they couldn't get the two sentences correctly. For, I don't want to have a partner, um, that, and then I have nothing in common with this person. Okay. Yes. Okay, for that one. So the one is, I'd like to meet people. These people have a good sense of humor. Okay. So it's very important that we clarify because I see some people try to copy exactly the same sentence. You cannot always copy exactly the same sentence. Sometimes you have to eliminate. Sometimes you have to change. Okay. The reason is because you cannot repeat the same thing. So if I'm talking about Andrea, in the next sentence, I cannot repeat again Andrea because I am going to use who to talk about her, okay? So the idea is for this. Um, let's try to help make sure that everybody is clear. In exercise, or in the second part, it says the relative pronouns. How can we make that sentence? It says, I like to meet people. These people have a good sense of humor. I have the answer. I like to meet people that have a good sense of humor. Okay, very good. You use that. Okay, yeah. perfect. Okay. Did anybody else have a different answer? Remember, it's not only one answer is correct. That is correct, but there are other answers as well. Remember, the sentence we are trying to join is the one that's in the chat. I'd like to meet people. These people have a good sense of humor. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I have the same. Uh, it's, I like to meet people who have a good sense of humor. Okay. Ah, in your case, is who? Uh, who? Yeah. So both of them are correct. I like to meet people who have a good sense of humor, or I like to meet people that have a good sense of humor. Both answers are correct. And in fact, it's only because the, we are using the original sentence I'd that we continue. But if you want to make long, I would like to meet people, it's also correct. Remember, in, grammatically, the two have the same meaning. The contraction is only the same as the big word. Only that for some groups, I see maybe you had a little difficulty. Remember the apostrophe. You need to check on your keyboard that you are using the apostrophe and not tilde. This is because I, it looks similar, but it's not the same. It's not the same for the computer. So that's one, maybe one of the, the mistakes, but good. We have two answers. I like to meet people that have a good sense of humor, or I like to meet people who have a good sense of humor. Excellent. What about number two? Who can help those partners that had a little difficulty combining the sentence in number two. What would I, I'm going to put in the chat again for the, those that don't remember, what was the original sentence? Okay, it was, I don't like to be with people. I have nothing in common with this person. This one was a little bit more confusing because we had to eliminate and arrange it differently. Mm -hmm. It's kind of tricky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What do you think? Anybody have an idea? Did anybody get this part correct? I tried to do it yes. the same way uh, from Kevin, but but it, it, it doesn't function. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. And what did you put? What, what did you try? We try uh, with that. Mm -hmm. I don't like to be with people that... I have nothing in common. Oh, you forgot the word with. The with, okay. Uh-huh, you forgot the word with at the end. Okay. That's That would be one answer, uh-huh. Okay, anybody else try a different form? I don't like to be with people who have nothing in common. Mm. 
I don't like to be with people who have nothing. I don't like to be with people who have nothing in common. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not exactly. Your the sentence is correct. Is okay. correct. Is correct grammatically. The problem is is not correct for the same meaning. Because no, okay. when, when you say I like to be with people who have nothing in common is not you and the people, but the other two people don't have anything in common. Uh, okay. That's why is is obligation to say who I have nothing in common with. Because mm -hmm. if if not, you are talking about the other people. Other people. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So we can see from this lesson that we can join two sentences, but when we join two sentences, we need to eliminate the things that repeat. As an example, if the word people is the topic, maybe not the same name, but is the topic in the first sentence, we cannot use people in the second sentence, like with sentence number two. So in sentence number two is, I don't like to be with people who ha I have nothing in common with, or that I have nothing in common with. The with is necessary. It's obligation at the end because the with means to join with that. Okay. So okay. with is not at the beginning, but at the end. Okay. All right. Excuse me, sir. What is the correct answer for the second part? Ah, excellent. Give me one moment and I will write it in the chat. That way you are not confused. That way, not only that you hear it, but you see it correctly. Okay. 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 So I put down two of them because we can use both. Remember, it's common to use who with people, and this is correct grammatically, but that can be used with people or things. So you can use that as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Only remember the difference. Who is exclusive for people, but that can be used for both. So if you are unsure many times when you are not sure, just use that and it's always correct. Okay, guys. Well, I think it's, okay. it's great for our first night. I know it's a little, you know, beginning again with the grammar and getting into it. And it's a little difficult, but little by little, we'll get the idea. Uh, thank you, everybody, for making the effort to be in class. I know it's hard. I know it's difficult, especially at this time. But thank you very much. And I hope to see you guys again tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank, thank you. you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Have a nice night. You too. Have, Have a good night. night. You too. <laughs> good night. Thank you. Bye.